Hello. And welcome to Black History Alive. My name is Donna Jackson of Donna Jackson LLC and DonnaJackson.biz. Today, I would like to bring you a slice of Black history important to me. So let's get started. Today, I will be talking about the movies part two. There were so many movies that I couldn't include on the first video, so that is why I'm bringing this one to you today. At Donna Jackson LLC, my mission is to help you explore, understand, and celebrate Black American culture and identity. And I think this list of movies does just that. In these movies, I laughed, I cried, and I was wonderfully, wonderfully depicted on screen in many, many ways. And that is why I think these movies are so important. So let's get started. The importance of bringing this to you is to realize that these movies actually disseminate black culture worldwide, which is really, really important. They depicted uh, the realities of black life in America, and they were often very trendsetting. I hope you enjoy them. Let's start here with Uptown Saturday Night, starring Sidney Poitier and Bill Cosby. Uptown Saturday Night, of course, was produced uh, in 1974. The producer was Melville Tucker, and the director was Sidney Poitier. The movie to date has grossed $6.7 million at the box office. Uptown Saturday Night stars Sidney Poitier, who was born in Miami, Florida, and Bill Cosby, who was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is such a funny movie. It, ha it stars an ensemble cast. It is a tale of a lottery ticket. And that is all that I can tell you because I want you to watch it for yourself. Some of the memorable cameos and starring um, co-starring roles go to, of course, Harry Belafonte, Calvin Lockhart, we also have a cameo by Harold Nicholas, the famous dancer, and many, many other wonderful people who are in this movie. It, make, it made me laugh. I hope you get the chance to see it and find out what happens to that lottery ticket. of course, is none other than Car Wash. Car Wash was produced in 1976, and the producers were Art Linson and Gary Stromberg. It was directed by Michael Schultz, and to date has grossed $14 million. The movie Car Wash is absolutely hilarious. Now, this movie stars Richard Pryor, who was born in Peoria, Illinois, and Franklin Ajay, who was born in Brooklyn, New York. This movie contains so many guest starring roles and cameos that I cannot mention them all, but I will say that the Pointer Sisters are in this movie, as well as Bill Duke, and many, many other very famous and funny people, including George Carlin, the comedian. So the plot of this movie is that these people all uh, come to the car wash, but the, the, the question is, can you make it out of the car wash um, after having been an employee there? And how will you get out of the car wash? It is really, really funny. I hope that you enjoy going back and finding this movie and watching Car Wash. It is a very memorable film from 1976.
Steve Krantz was the producer on this movie. This movie is Which Way Is Up in 1977 is when it came out. To date, this movie has grossed $3.2 million. The movie Which Way Is Up of course stars Richard Pryor who was born in Peoria, Illinois and Lynette McKee who was born in Detroit, Michigan. This movie follows the life of Leroy Jones and we all want to know if at the end of the movie he really knows which way is up. Which way is up has Richard Pryor starring in multiple roles and it is a slice of his comic brilliance and his comic genius. I think that it was groundbreaking in many ways. I invite you to laugh and cry and learn and live alongside Leroy and his fabulous family in the movie Which Way Is Up? very memorable and legendary movie Purple Rain came out in 1984. It was produced by Robert Cavallo, Joseph Ruffalo, and Stephen Fernoli. It grossed $72 million at the box office and was directed by Albert Manoli. The movie Purple Rain stars Prince, also known as Prince Rogers Nelson, and Apollonia Cotero. Prince Rogers Nelson was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Apollonia Cotero was born in Santa Monica, California. The movie Purple Rain is a semi-autobiographical story of the kid who is in search of fame, love, and in search of himself. Be sure to watch Purple Rain if you've never done so. It will be a very enjoyable movie for you and your family. Now the year is 1986. And this movie is Jojo Dancer, Your Life is Calling. This movie was produced by Richard Pryor and directed by Richard Pryor. And the movie Jojo Dancer has grossed $18 million at the box office. Jojo Dancer, Your Life is Calling is another semi-autobiographical movie about the life of Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor once again was born in Peoria, Illinois and it co-stars Debbie Allen who was born in Houston, Texas. This follows Jojo, the character, as he walks through episodes of his very complicated and memorable life. This is an especially important movie that I'm including in this list because it revealed to me one of the most important qualities of any artist is to be extremely transparent and sincere. And I think Richard Pryor absolutely nailed it in this movie. He revealed to us so many interesting and important parts of himself. It also has a very important cameo by the legendary Carmen McRae as his grandmother. Please pick up Jojo Dancer, Your Life is Calling if you want to learn more about the brilliant comedian, actor, and producer, director, Richard Pryor. Six, and the movie is The Nutty Professor. The movie The Nutty Professor was produced by Brian Glazer and Russell Simmons and directed by Tom Shadiak. It has grossed $274 million at the box office to date. The Nutty Professor, of course, stars Eddie Murphy, who was born in Brooklyn, New York, and Jada Pinkett Smith, who was born in Baltimore, Maryland. This story is about a professor who has a secret and a very funny family, which is a part of the secret. Please, please watch The Nutty Professor if you want to laugh. 
in this movie, Eddie Murphy, once again, I hate to overuse the term, but displays his comic brilliance and his comic genius. I am so very proud to include this important movie on my list of black movies. It tells the story of a professor who is looking for love and looking for a very important formula. So don't forget to watch The Nutty Professor if you really want to laugh. Let's keep going. The year is 1999. The movie is The Wood. And The Wood is a movie that was produced by Albert Berger et al. It was also directed by Rick Femi Yiwa. It has grossed $24 million at the box office to date. The Wood is a coming of age movie. So part of the movie was done in flashbacks. These three actors, Sean Nelson, Trent Cameron, and Dwayne Finley, were the younger versions of those other actors, Tay Diggs, who was born in Newark, New Jersey, Omar Epps, who was born in Brooklyn, New York, and Richard T. Jones, who was born in Hyogo, Japan. This coming of age movie was really important for me to include on this list because it really captured the innocence, the awkwardness of puppy love and how it felt to be a teenager and growing up and trying to sort through all of these complicated new feelings. I especially like this movie. That is why I've included it on the list. I think that you should watch The Wood and Enjoy some of these wonderful depictions of these characters who show us what it looked like and what it felt like to grow up. And I think that you will enjoy this movie very much. It is still 1999, but this movie is The Best Man. The Best Man was produced by Spike Lee, Sam Kitt, and Bill Carraro. The movie was also directed by Malcolm D. Lee. The Best Man has grossed to date $34.5 million. The Best Man stars Tay Diggs, who was born in Newark, New Jersey, and Nia Long, who was born in Brooklyn, New York. This movie was so important to include because Every person in this movie was a star in their own right. It also features, as you can see, Morris Chestnut, who was born in Cerritos, California, Harold Perrineau, Terrence Howard, and also Sanaa Lathan and Monica Calhoun. This movie was full of wonderful actors, and it's really the story of a reunion, a wedding, and it stars this great ensemble cast. This movie was very important because everybody just looked good. The production was fabulous. Everyone, so when I saw interviews about the movie featuring the cast members, they made the point to say that this was not a black movie, but this was a, a movie starring wonderful black actors who were talking about universal themes, which I thought was very important. They made us look good, they made us sound good, and I am so very proud to include the best man in this list of great black movies. I hope that you have a chance to find it and watch it for yourself. I was almost about to finish out my list, but then I thought, I have to include Harlem Nights. Harlem Nights was released in 1989, and it was produced by Mark Lipsky and Robert Wax. It was directed by Eddie Murphy, and to date, Harlem Nights has grossed $95 million at the box office. Harlem Nights stars Eddie Murphy, who was born in Brooklyn, New York. It also stars Richard Pryor, who was born in Peoria, Illinois, and Red Fox, who was born in St. Louis, Missouri. Harlem Nights 
had to be included on this list of some of my favorite black movies. It also features the legendary Della Reese. Harlem Nights is an important movie because it actually had the ability to encompass and encapsulate all of these wonderful uh, actors and and comedians. I don't know how they were able to put all of these brilliant people in the same movie, but they did. This is the story of a man named Quick, and it has to do with this after hour spot and whether or not this after hour spot can stay open. It was set in 1918 Harlem, New York. Please watch Harlem Nights for some of the funniest scenes in any movie that you'll ever see. It also features many co-stars who were very important to the plot. Some of the memorable co-stars, of course, were Arsenio Hall, Leela Rashawn, Jasmine Guy. I could go on and on. Don't forget to include Harlem Nights in your library of must-see movies. My name is Donna Jackson, and I am the author of a book called Race, Poverty, and Progress, an American Paradox. And my mission for my company is always to help you to explore, to understand, and to celebrate Black American culture and identity. I hope that this video is going to help you to be able to do all of those things. You may ask, why do I include the names of the producers and the directors in my descriptions of these videos? I include them because I too am a producer and I am a director and I want to make sure that I highlight all the important people that are part of these wonderful projects. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This concludes this episode of Black History Alive. Thank you for watching. For more information about me or any of my other projects, please go to www.donnajackson.biz and stay tuned. I will be bringing you more videos in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.